Oh my god, this feels awesome! Hey guys, Vimal here and welcome back to my channel. It's Diwali week guys and I am like super excited for this because I have planned some amazing content for you people and we'll be having like super fun in the upcoming videos guys. And coming to today's video, we have something new in the house from Agaro. It's a brand new projector guys. So Agaro has like recently launched a true 1080p Android projector at an affordable price in the Indian market and they wanted me to check it out on our channel. So they sent over a sample. So guys, today in this video, we'll be unboxing and checking it out and to make this video even more special and interesting what i'll be doing is i'll be connecting my ps5 to this projector and we'll see how gaming on a big screen with a projector feels like i am like super excited for this video so let's get started so here's our new projector from Agaro, came in this huge box and I have to say the package is quite heavy guys. We've got the Agaro branding, the model is AG120, it's a native 1080p smart Android LED projector and mentioned some of its main features on the front, like it supports 4K playback, has 3000 lumens brightness, onboard Wi-Fi, Bluetooth is also there and is basically powered by Android, right? So you can expect all sorts of smart features and stuff. That's it, there is nothing much written on it. So let's Let's quickly get started with the unboxing. Here we go. On opening it, we've got the projector and an accessory box along with that, which includes a main squad for the projector, some cables and stuff, a remote control, looks nice in white color, and lastly, some paperwork. Just make sure to read them whenever you get time. That's it, these are all the stuff we got in the package. Now let's finally check out the product we've been waiting for. Agaro's all new AG120 1080p Android projector. And the first thing I'll have to say is it's quite heavy in the hand guys. No joke, easily weighs around 3.5 kgs. It's available in black color and looks quite premium from our first impressions. Let me just peel off the sticker at the top panel. Oh wow, are you guys seeing this? The top panel is entirely made of aluminum in a beautiful brushed metal like finish and feels quite a premium for the price. Rest of the body is made of polycarbonate though. Also love the chamfered edges all around it. We've got the Agaro branding, some media control buttons like power button, mode, back and navigation buttons along with a tiny status LED indicator. And just above that, you've got two wheels to manually adjust the keystone and focus. And going to the front side, this is where we've got the actual projector lens. Comes with a silicone cap as well for protection. Given a closer look, quality of the lens looks good, multi-coated and has a dia of around 188mm. And just beside the lens, you've got two built-in stereo speakers that can produce around 10 watts of output. There's nothing much on the sides, just some vents to let the heat escape. And at the back is where we've got all the connectivity ports. There's a power switch, a main squad port, and on the right we've got some ports which include two HDMI ports, audio in, audio out, two USB ports to connect storage devices like maybe pen drives, a LAN port is also there, and lastly a VGA port. That's it, these are all the available connectivity ports on it. And going to the bottom side, well, there's nothing much here, just some rubber foot pads on all the corners and info regarding the model. So that's it, that was our complete overview on the design and the build quality. Now let's quickly power it on and check it out. Alright guys, now back to continue the video. As you can see, the projector is all set up. You can even see the image on the wall and I've placed it in my living room just beside my TV because that is where my PS5 is. And let me tell you, there are some of the lights turned on in the hall because otherwise I wouldn't be visible while I'm talking. But anyways, when I'll be showing you like a demo and you know, picture quality of the projector, I'll definitely turn off all the lights. You'll get like a better view at that. But before we actually go there and connect my PS5 and do all the gaming tests, first what I'll do is I'll show you the UI, built-in apps and features and basically how the projector's menu and home interface looks like. And after that, we'll do the gaming test and the picture quality. So let's get started. Okay, I just turned off the lights and now it looks awesome, right? And let me tell you, we're not using any sort of projector screen or silver screen over here, guys. We're using it directly on a wall and that is because a lot of people don't have these screens at their home, right? So I want to give you like a better idea, like how you would get the image quality when you use this projector directly projected on a wall. And let me tell you, the overall picture quality looks pretty nice uh, because the colors look nice directly on the wall. Brightness is also pretty decent. It's around midday, guys, not even nighttime, so quite 
sufficient brightness and let me tell you you can easily adjust the keystone also either using the lens control at the top or even directly from the uh, projector software menu also that option is also there and manual focus adjustment is also present so now what i'll do is i'll quickly go behind and i'll give you like an overview on the ui and basically show you what's available on the home screen so as you can see guys this is how the ui on agaro's projector looks like ag120 at the top side we've got some different categories of tab that show signal source mine file explorer apps and settings and above that you got the status panel which shows you uh, current wi-fi network and the time so on the home screen guys you've got a couple of shortcuts and let me tell you these are all built-in apps and applications i didn't i didn't install anything right now so you've got Kodi built in, you've got Netflix also built in, YouTube is there and Microsoft WPS Office is also there and uh, we've got Screening Assistant. Screening Assistant is basically, you know, wireless casting. So you can directly do that also on this projector. And this is basically Google Play Store, guys. You need to just log in with your Gmail account. And after that, you can download like any app you want from Google Play Store. And above that, you also have like Aptoid TV. Now, this is also an application market only from where you can download like wide variety of apps and games that are specifically designed for tv os and interface so they've included this as well and that is pretty much it guys you can easily download whatever app you want basically because it runs on android right and beside that you got the signal source select that means if you connect any inputs to it you can directly access or switch between them from this menu now going next you got a built-in file explorer also using which you can easily navigate to any storage maybe that you've connected to the projector like maybe a pen drive or maybe hard disk anything built-in storage is 8 gb you can can see and we are we've already used around like 3.3 gb so you're left with around like 4 to 5 gb of free space available on the projector now moving next you've got some built-in apps and stuff like there's a browser media player then you've got system upgrade settings you can even change some themes on the projector like the basically theme of the ui navigation and all that stuff i am leaving it at default guys and lastly coming to the settings page here you can easily access your wi-fi settings miracast settings bluetooth settings and all these are there guys so you can easily connect to you know wi-fi networks or maybe bluetooth devices like maybe a bluetooth speaker and enjoy great quality sound while watching movies or even while gaming then you've got image settings available as well keystone settings are also there and custom zoom options are also there and lastly you've got some system settings like maybe system upgrade about system info and all that stuff and let's quickly check out the about info section and as you can see uh, the current android operating system version the projector is running is android version 6 which is actually a bit old one but anyways it gets your job done and that is pretty much it guys complete settings information so now what i'll do is we'll quickly open up youtube we'll play some videos and see how the picture and image quality of this projector is Ladies and gentlemen, today is the day you've been waiting for. Intel has finally launched their 12th gen Algo Lake CPUs and today in this video, we're gonna talk about that. Hey guys, it's Bimal here and welcome back to my channel. So guys, let me tell you, 12th gen Algo Lake brings like massive changes and improvements compared to the previous gen. The whole size and shape of the CPU itself has changed. So guys, that is because they've got like a brand new architecture and let me tell you this offers like massive improvements and I bet you've not even, you never imagined anything like this before guys. Okay, you guys saw the image quality, right? Let me know what do you think in the comment section down below. If you would ask me, the projector was giving good results for the price. The brand says it's capable of projecting up to 200 inches, but based on my usage, I felt 120 to 140 inches was the sweet spot. And right now we are watching it at 120 inches on my wall. It's a native 1080p projector, right? There's good amount of detail. All the text on it is easily readable and looks great. The colors are also nice and rich while watching movies or maybe YouTube videos also, but coming to brightness, Initially, the brightness was a bit less as by default it was only set to 50% in the setting but after increasing it to 90-95%, I was getting satisfactory results. It's got 3000 lumens of brightness which is quite sufficient for home purpose and looks great in total darkness. I would highly advise you to cover all light sources like windows or doors to get the best possible viewing experience. It's not suitable for daytime usage or brightly lit rooms as the image may not be visible clearly, so keep that in mind. See, for home purpose, if you want to enjoy a weekend movie night, this is great for the price that you're paying. You're getting true 1080p resolution, good brightness levels, up to 150 inches big size cinema experience, that too with full smart Android features on board, and not to forget, it also has built-in stereo speakers that can produce around 10 watts of output. 
Built-in speaker quality was also fine, but not the best I've seen. If you are using it for small room with limited number of people, then it's fine, gets your job done. But if you want to enjoy a true cinematic experience, then you'll definitely need to connect a sound bar or maybe a home theater system. Now comes the fun part guys, what I'll do is I'll connect my PlayStation 5 to this Agaro projector and we're gonna see how gaming at 120 inches big screen feels like. So let's quickly do that. Oh my god, PS5 at 120 inches guys, this is gonna be awesome. So which game should we play? Let's try out Spider-Man. My god, this feels awesome! We're currently playing at 1080p 60fps on PS5 and the game feels amazing. Like seriously, big screen ka experience is different. Almost double the size of your regular 55 inch TV, right? So it feels awesome. I love gaming on my PS5 guys. I usually play it on my Sony TV, but this is next level. PS5 is also capable of 4K 60fps gaming, but unfortunately projector supports max 1080p 60 only. And by the way guys, I've already made like a complete video on my PS5 with the gaming results long back. I'll actually leave a link to that card above, you can check out a detailed video over there. Only thing I felt during my usage was, see while watching movies or maybe YouTube videos, brightness was fine. But in games there are a lot of dark scenes coming right, so I felt here the brightness could have been a bit more higher. And also I forgot to mention, the projector has a built-in fan and was producing audible amount of fan noise after 10 to 15 minutes of usage to keep it running cool. Well, anyways, that's it for today. That was our video on this new projector from Agaro. It costs around 20,000 rupees in India. I'll leave a link to that in the description box below. You can check it out there. So that's it for today. I hope you all enjoyed watching this video and got to check out this product. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more new awesome videos. And I'll see you all in my next one.